Hello, I'm Philip Duncan from weatherwatch.co.nz with your global weather extremes for Monday. And our video today is a little bit different. We're speeding it up a wee bit and we're going to go through the top 10 weather features of today. So let's kick off with number one. And we start with a large area of low pressure up here in Canada around Hudson Bay. In fact, centered very close to Churchill, a place I would love to go to. It's where a lot of the polar bears live. Uh, now this low pressure system affecting a big part of central Canada, but it's also connected to this convergence zone around America. This is basically where you're getting the hot air off the Gulf of Mexico combining with colder air coming in off the Rocky Mountains in that northerly uh, there. So it's an interesting weather feature going all the way up to Canada, quite a large area of low pressure through a large portion of North America at the moment. Our second feature, thunderstorms, mostly around parts of Brazil, uh, Ecuador, Bolivia, Colombia, and then further up and towards uh, North America. We're getting into Mexico with a few thunderstorms as well, but this is the biggest cluster of thunderstorms on the planet at the moment. And while there's a lot across Africa, it's just not as intense as what you're seeing across the Americas at the moment. Pretty normal for this time of the year as well. And speaking of thunderstorms, we've got some se severe thunderstorm risks possible disruption later on today, Monday, across parts of Europe. Uh, the central part here of France could have some very heavy downpours as you go through your Monday. And we've also got a potential thunderstorm disruption risk here across parts of Milan and also into Croatia, Serbia, and further down and towards Albania. So a bit of an active day across some parts of Europe at the moment. Number four on our list takes us into Asia. And in fact, parts of China and Korea getting this new low pressure system after the tropical storm you had last week. This is another system driving in more rain. Uh, the bulk of that rain actually falling east of Beijing. Some big totals in here around Shenyang. In fact, uh, you could be getting up over 100 millimeters. And that rain pushes into North Korea. Pyongyang gets some rain and also some rain features in Seoul as well, although not very much uh, coming into Korea. The bulk of that rain certainly still up here around China. Number five on our list, it takes us into Russia where we've got a large area of low pressure, not necessarily overly stormy, but it is affecting a very large part of Russia from the very north all the way down to the border with Kazakhstan and Mongolia. And by the way, uh, this is quite high up as well. So you'll be seeing rain fall here as snow along the mountains. Number six on our map takes us into South America now, where we've got an interesting setup. You've got high pressure out to the east here, but some disturbances right along the coastline, and that is driving up the rainfall around some parts of South America. Well, on the other side, you've got an area of high pressure. Don't be fooled by that. There's actually a huge storm just off the coastline there. But the rainfall totals in places like Uruguay are going to be quite high, especially in the coastal areas uh, where those totals will really lift up over the next day or so. And a bit of rain also making it into Argentina. Not a huge amount, but a little bit uh, coming in from that system that's mostly offshore out in the Atlantic. Okay, number seven on our list doesn't look very dramatic, but this is just more of a tropical feature in the Indian Ocean heading towards the Maldives. Now, the good news is this is not expected to form into a major storm. It is likely to track along in the trade winds, these easterly winds. So some of the island group may be affected by some rough weather later into the week, but it doesn't look like a major storm, not at this stage anyway. Number eight on our list, speaking of tropical storms, we now go to the Atlantic, where we're tracking the next couple of features that are showing up um, in the tropical storm risk zone. They're in the normal areas, by the way. This is where we usually see these tropical disturbances kicking off. It's usually created by a pulse of warm, dry air coming out of Africa. So what is expected with these two systems? Well, Peter has already been named and the other one is just called 17. This one's likely to be out at sea, but Peter, Peter is worth keeping an eye on because the tropical storm does have the potential to come up towards Bermuda. It is likely to fall apart. The D there showing a sign that it could just be a tropical depression, but still you got the chance Bermuda of a rainmaker and a bit of a windmaker coming through perhaps this coming weekend. Number nine on our list today, temperature extremes, and we're back to America again. Around the Rockies, you've got this blue portion here where it is pretty cold around parts of Wyoming at the moment. And then a very short drive away, really, South Dakota, Nebraska, Colorado, parts of Kansas, all getting that big pulse of hot air at the moment. But it's very cold just over there. In fact, 
it's snowing. We've got snow clouds right across parts of Idaho and Wyoming, and even right down into Colorado at the moment. So we're getting a good dusting of snow. It is that time of year where it goes from a hot day to a cold day. It's turning into autumn slash fall across North America. And number 10 on our list today is that storm I just mentioned off the coast of South America. So you've got high pressure just here pushing in around Chile, but just off the coastline is this very big storm. Very normal for this time of the year that the Southern Ocean has these big storms near Antarctica. So pretty much expected for this time of the year, but it is a feature. And our weather map of the day, oddly, or coincidentally, is that same low. Look at that, On the with the isobars added to it, you can really see how intense it is. 923 hectopa uh, hectopascals or millibars, that is the center of that storm. You wouldn't wanna be on a boat or ship anywhere near this system at the moment, and it will be tracking in towards southern parts of South America, but there is that high pressure zone right on the edge of the map here, which might just limit how far northwards it goes, but it certainly is a fantastic looking map. That is all from me. We will see you again on Wednesday. And just a reminder, we're making these videos at the moment because where I am in Auckland, New Zealand, we're in our fourth week now of a stay at home order with COVID. It appears to be working, fingers crossed. Um, but we're doing these videos because we've got a little bit more time at the moment. Not sure if they will keep going in the way we'll be making them, but we thank you for all your feedback, and I can tell you we've really loved making them. So at this stage, we'll still continue making them, but just letting you know, um, we're not sure just how long we'll be continuing it the way we've been doing it. Thank you so much for all your feedback. It's really uh, fantastic to get it. It does give us ideas, so please do keep those YouTube com uh, comments coming our way. That is all from me. We'll see you again on Wednesday with our next Global Weather Extremes update.